In this lesson, we are going to be setting up a redundant DHCP server with VRP. To get started, open up Winbox on tick 1. We will be assigning an internal IP subnet to the Ether4 port that connects to tick 3. Open the address list and configure an IP address of 10.3.0.1/24. Next, open the VRRP tab from within interface and create a new VRP instance. Give it a name of VRP DHCP. Under the VRRP tab, choose the trunk port interface of Ether4. Under VRID, choose an ID number that is in use in your network. We will choose 254 here. Click OK. Go back to the address list and a new IP to the new VRP instance. Assign it the IP 10.3.0.3/24. Under Interface, choose the VRP instance you just created. Once done, go to IP Pool and create a new pool of IP addresses to use with the DHCP server. Click the plus sign, give it a name, and under addresses, let's use the pool of 10.3.0.10 to 254. Click OK. Next, go to IP, DHCP server. Click the plus sign, give it a name such as customers, Choose the new VRP instance you created above and select the newly created address pool. Click OK. Under the Networks tab, click the plus sign. Under Address, type in the subnet for the address block you are using. In this case, it will be 10.3.0.0/slash 24. Under Gateway, Enter in the IP of the VRP instance you created. This will be 10.3.0.3 in this example. Under DNS servers, enter in your whichever DNS servers you will use. I will use 8.8.8.8, .8 which is one of Google's servers. Click OK. Repeat the same steps on tick 2. The only thing you will change is the IP you assign to the Ether Fort Drunk port, which in this case will be 10.3.0.2/24. In the next lesson, we will set up NAT for the internal subnet so your customers that do not have a static public IP can get internet access.